Hey, welcome back to Americhick Art. I'm Vicki and today I will be painting a piece inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's The Picture in the House. The story is about a man who, to escape the rain, goes into a derelict house that he thinks is abandoned. He ends up encountering a man who tells him some very creepy things and sees a picture in a book that's very creepy. And in the end, the house ends up getting hit by a bolt of lightning, leaving just the narrator alive. So with this story in mind, the end piece of the narration left me this inspiration for this piece of art right here. The materials used are in the description box below. The total time spent on this piece was about 24 minutes. Before I started filming, I put some tape around the edges to give it a finished look. I start by marking the center and where the rubble is supposed to come up to. I then sketch in a basic chair in the center. Working from left towards the center, I sketch some wooden beams sticking out of the rubble. I then draw a human figure on the chair. Just has to look generic because he'll be painted black later. I then continue with the beams going all the way to the right. I sketch in a baseline for the clouds. I then take my kneaded eraser to and lighten up the sketch so no lines can show through. I go in with my white Prismacolor Premier colored pencil to draw in the lightning. I do it at this stage because it will block the water-based markers from being absorbed, leaving the area either lighter or totally white. You can see me scribbling the marker onto a plate in, to the side. This is so I can water it down and use it like watercolor. I begin the painting process by starting with the clouds. You'll notice that this piece is split into three main color areas. Gray for the clouds, red for the background, and brown for the rubble.
here I start adding color to the rubble. It wasn't until later that I realized I should have started by adding the red to the background first. I start darkening some of the clouds with the darker gray. I use the same technique with the rubble and use a darker brown to add some depth. I go in and paint in the human figure and the chair in black. I start with the wash of red as light as I could get it. And this is where I start realizing my mistake. I darken the wash with more red and as you can see the poor man in the chair gets a little blurry.
I let the painting dry a bit before I went in with another wash of red. This way I could go a bit darker without letting the man bleed more. I paint on some black on the rubble and some more into the clouds just to add more of that depth and trying to get it to look a little more darker. Here I'm adding some more red around the chair. And here the final details are being added, which are wafts of smoke coming from the rubble. This is the final piece. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video and subscribe to see more as my art journey progresses. Leave a comment about what inspires your creativity. Have a good day.